what I brought in. No, no I can. <laughs> once I get started talking, I keep going. Okay, this is my uh, sanding station. Oh, no, I, don't, I want that halfway through. This is my sanding station, and this has really been developed for doing intarsia. Two years ago, I went to Judy Gill Roberts' studio down in Tennessee. The, probably the highlight of my trip. She is the uh, pioneer in intarsia. You go into her, her studio, it's just loaded with unbelievable artwork. And you gotta call it artwork, it's not woodworking, it's that. But then she took me through her shop, and they run a lot of courses there. And the courses, um, everybody has their own scroll saw, and they have a sanding station. And she showed me what they had, so I kind of modeled this after what she did. And I bought these two components off of there. So it's all made out of MDF. It's quite heavy. But I also, in the bottom here, which I don't know if you can see down at the bottom, they... No. Or I can move this out too. If you see in the bottom there, I actually normally have four bricks in there to even give it more stability. It's really heavy when it's got all the bricks and stuff in. And there are two bricks down in here too. Whoops. Oops, didn't break it. There's two bricks down in there too to make give it more stability. It's pretty heavy. So what I have here is a um, variable speed uh, half inch grinder. Comes from Lowe's in the US, 79 bucks. Can't beat the price. They don't sell it in Canada. You got to spend um, um, $139 for the Porter cable up there. Uh, Judy Gale Roberts run Freedoms, and they're $189. So that's cheapo. Went the, this route. So my pockets aren't big enough. Okay. Okay. So what is on this end here is called the Flex Drum Sander. And they come in all sorts of grits from 80, 120, 150. And if you look at it, you can see this rubber thing. It's like what they use to insulate uh, pipes. And it's got um, sandpaper on the outside. And it comes in all four um, grits. And it fits on a, on a spindle here. And that spindle is really comes for uh, five eighths or a half inch. And what there is is call it's in there, and you order the right one, and it's it's pretty cool. Just yeah, just and it's tight. And there's what it looks like, yeah. and then it goes on here like so. Where do you get the, drum? the what? Where do you get the drum? Oh, uh, you That's common. Now that's coming. I bought mine at Judy Gill Roberts. The drums are, are four ninety five, and uh, the actual spindle with the collets, and two of the uh, I think they give you eighty and one twenty, and I bought the other two to have the, all the grits. Um, that's thirty four bucks with, or thirty four ninety five, and then this is uh, four ninety five additional ones. I've had it for two years now. And I, my intarsia expertise is two. I've got two done out of a, a lesson book that Judy sold me. Haven't got, I got waylaid in and other things. But it is unbelievable. If you want to do intarsia and you want to take the edge off, there you go, it's done. You can, and you can shape downwards, you put the, the 80 grid on there, you can take that in half in no time at all. So, um, and the other thing is so you clean them with those little blocks, you know, the blocks that you use, cleans it up and it's ready to go again. Now, I use this all the time, even though I'm not doing intarsia, anything that's not right and not square, I, all those little angels we did, I went done. 
I make a lot of keychains, and it's rounded on the end. I don't scroll very round. I just go over and shh, shh, and it's done. So. What we can make that noise. Shh, yep, yep. So that's what's on this end, okay? And in behind it, I have a um, my dust collector, and this boot here. Um, you can see the little. I can take that off so you can see it. This is portable because I do take it off and use it by. You can see the little s squares in it. Then I put some some bird netting over it because when you let go of a little piece, it goes right sucking right down into your dust collector. And those bars were not enough. That boot is ten, nine bucks. It's not very much, but it does all the dust you can see going around and going out the other end. Which way? See, that's just some, some netting type of deal. Just because I did let a little piece go, and it really made a mess out of the, you could hear it go through the fan. That's coming too. <laughs> there, there's, a, a, there's a method in my madness in showing this, okay? On the other end of this is what's called a wonder wheel. And this is a, a Judy Gail Roberts almost exclusive. Her husband designed it, okay? Um, and he's in that business of designing stuff. And what it's for, I don't know if you can pick it up off of this or not. You see these little grooves in here? If you're doing an intarsia piece where it was like feathers, um, a wolf and it had the, 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 the hair, um, like the hair of a man, and you do it in a, um, flowers, you want little grooves. This is called the Wonder Wheel. And it, I don't know what kind of material it is, but you take your grinder, your um, diamond hone type thing that you use to square up, and you put a point on it. And then, and this is why you want variable speed. You want to sand slower, two thousands as slow as it goes. When you're running this, you want to run it up at 5,000 and it's very and it's and it it's very aggressive because you just go and you put those extra little grooves in there and I guess if you practice enough you can get good at it because that's what she teaches in her advanced course is how to properly use this and everybody uses it so I bought that at, at Judy Gale Roberts Okay, so now what the, the reason I'm showing this is all of these pieces are now available in Canada. Can you flick that on? Yep. This, I dress that on. Yeah, you dress that on there with your dressing wheel and you make it as, as, as sharp as you want it. It comes with a bit, and you put as much as you want, depending on what you're doing. Okay? Now, I was going to order replacements for this, because I'm starting to get down on my, my 220. All of these pieces are now available from a company called Workshop Supply. <laughs>